How to Talk Like an Alaskan, or at least understand what we're talking about, part three. Oh, he works on the slope? That must be really fun to go skiing every day. If somebody tells you that they are working on the slope, it is very unlikely that they are working at a ski resort. The North Slope is at the tippy top of Alaska on Prudhoe Bay. This is the hub of the industrial oil and gas industry in Alaska. Slope workers typically work two weeks on and two weeks off in very long days up on the slope. The workers live in barrack type housing and are provided with meals while they are working. Yeah, he's sad. I'm gonna get him a happy light. It should help. Alaska is a land of extremes. We have extremely long days during the summer, but we also have very little sunlight hours during the winter, and many people develop what is called SAD, or Seasonal Affective Disorder. They get fatigued, tired, depressed because of the lack of sunlight. One of the things used to help people that are experiencing SAD is a happy light. A happy light provides light therapy in the dark winter. People say it helps increase their energy and ease depression during the dark winter months. It is not a cure-all, but people do find happy lights helpful. We're taking the Alcan down to the lower 48. Should be a good trip. Alcan stands for Alaska Canada Highway. The Alcan consists of several highways from the US up through Canada and around and down into Alaska. These roads are long and often lonely and rugged, but it is how people get to Alaska. If they don't take the ferry or fly a plane, they take the Alcan. Now anything below Canada is referred to as the lower 48. It is one of the most common things that you will hear Alaskans say. They're going to the lower 48, or they moved to the lower 48, or their family's in the lower 48. That lower 48 refers to all 48 states below Canada. Yeah, after he got his moose, a taxi picked him up and brought him home. In Alaska, a taxi can mean much more than one of those yellow cars that you call to pick you up to go to the airport. It is very common for people to hire an air taxi or a boat taxi to, to get them to remote locations. Mark has often used air taxis at the end of a float trip to pick him up with the boat and come back into Anchorage. Other people will call an air taxi or a boat taxi to pick them up after a hunt to get them out of their remote locations. <laughs> I thought Alaska was supposed to have snow. A Chinook came through. A Chinook wind in the winter is a warm wind that melts the snow. While it melts the snow and might seem like a little bit of a reprieve from the cold weather, it also brings a lot of ice and a lot of wet and makes things really messy. Hey, where are you going for work this week? Uh, I'm headed up to Fairbanks. You driving? Yeah, I'll take the car. It's on the road system. Where are you going next week? I have a trip out to Dutch Harbor. You driving to that one? No, it's not on the road system. Alaska has approximately 1,082 miles of highways, which is not a lot for how gigantic Alaska is. 1,082 miles of highways are composed of four main highways in Alaska, and these are called the road system. While these are called highways, don't picture anything too crazy. A lot of these roads are simple two-lane roads with no way to get around them if something happens like a crash. The many other cities, villages, and towns that are spread around the state are referred to as off the road system. You either need to take a boat or a plane to get to these cities. There is one more highway system in Alaska and it is called the Alaska Marine Highway. And these are the waterways that our ferries connect. They go from town to town servicing cities that cannot be reached by car. Ew, that salmon is spawned out. When someone says that a salmon is spawned out, it means that it is dying. It has come back to the river to reproduce and then it changes from those silvery fish to like bright reds and greens and they just change their whole look. So that is what it means when somebody says a salmon is spawned out. Hey, so I was looking at places we could drive and I thought we should try the Hall Road. The Hall Road is also known as the Dalton Highway in Alaska, or once known as the North Slope Hall Road. This road, north of Fairbanks, follows the pipeline up to the North Slope. It is said to be one of the most isolated roads in the United States, with 
only three small towns along the road. The road is mostly gravel and very primitive and fairly dangerous if you do not have the right vehicle to be driving on it. If you break down, you are a long way from help. Anyone embarking on a journey on the Hall Road is encouraged to bring survival gear along. That is how remote this road is. So this is not somewhere where you would just wanna take like a family vacation. You'll mostly find workers going to and from the North Slope, like you might see in the show, Ice Road Truckers or Caribou Hunters, but not much else. Ew, that salmon is falling down. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>